you know, you've been on so many television shows throughout the years. And what I notice is that you've played a lot of authority figures. Yes. And you carry yourself just externally with this sense of authority that it is powerful. But I think you have one of those cases of, I'm sure when you run into fans or people that they have this wrong first impression of you uh, because of these authority figures you play. Well, you know, being a classically trained actor and <clears throat> and my thing in drama school and, and uh, what I really worked hard at was being a transformational actor. So, um, I, I, you know, Meryl Streep and Daniel Day-Lewis are my favorite actors, so I just thought right. that that's what acting was. And it took me a long time to realize that most stars play uh, kind of versions of themselves. <laughs> and so, and, 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 and casting tends to be um, about who, who executives think you are. Right. I mean, just to give you an example um, of how much people, th people want to peg you, uh, they didn't want to see me for Daniels. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. On yeah, The Wire? On The Wire. Because I had just played two drug addicts in, in a row. I, I had played, the, the year before, I was, a, I, was a, I, was a, uh, I was an undercover cop, but I was a heroin addict in Oz. Yep. And the year before that, in the corner, I played a crackhead, which is the first time I worked with David. Right. So Daniels was one of those things where, even though I thought that that was the role that was right for me, they wouldn't see me. And then, I don't even know how it happened, but right. eventually they saw me and then they passed. <laughs> and then I thought it was done. And then, I, then a couple weeks later, I got the call out of the blue that uh, I got the role. So what I hear you saying is that at the time, you were sort of being typecast as someone who played undercover roles, drug addicts, yeah, the, the criminals, and then, yeah, and then yeah. You're, you're trying to get this role so, that, that then becomes the new version of typecasting. Well, I mean, I didn't think of it as typecasting at the time. Right. It right. wasn't until, once again, you know, they wouldn't see me for Broyles, Fringe. First they, wanted, they saw me for Charlie three times. Right. <laughs> uh, and then finally they saw me for, for Broyles, and then they passed. I mean, it was almost exactly the same thing. No and then kidding. a month later, and once again, I thought it was gone. And then a month later, out of the blue, I got a call. They want to see you for Broyles again. They want to see you tomorrow. Right. And then within five days, I had the role after like three auditions like, they, like in a row. But then once you sort of land into those two roles. That, that's when it became problematic. Yeah. And it's to the point where I almost said no to Bosch. Because when the offer came, quite frankly, I read it and I flipped out. I started yelling, swearing, I said, I, I told him no more cops. And right. I, I went to call my agent. And as I went to call her, I noticed that I had a, uh, uh, I had a message. So, I, this, I don't know why, but I decided to listen to the message first. And it was from my agent. And she said, Lance, you're getting a, an offer. Uh, don't freak out, I need to talk to you about it first. And you've already freaked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I swear to you, the day it was announced in the trades that Bosch was being picked up, uh, they called my agent and said, we want to make him a series regular first season. Really? Yeah, and I was like, Um, I love that you get all these offers, <laughs> and your response, your first response is, "This is terrible." <laughs> I mean, it, it was it, it, it took me like a week and a half, almost two weeks, to decide, like to the point where the producers were getting pissed, um, because I, I, I didn't want to do something that was going to. I thought this could be the nail in the coffin in terms of typecasting. Right. But then, like the same fall, that we shot the pilot for uh, Bosch. I shot John Wick, uh, the guest got into Sundance, and I played Papa Legba on, um, on uh, American Horror Story. So suddenly I was getting all these roles that were completely different um, in, in television and, and film. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.